Hello, all you wonderful, beautiful people of the interwebs. Welcome back to the channel. This is Data. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma, the Mystic Knight. Why do we want to be a Mystic Knight? It is a hybrid class, specifically or maybe to geared towards endgame, but you can play it at any point. And leveling up specifically as a Mystic Knight, there's no harm in that. You can definitely get some good stats, but I might also recommend since Mystic Knight is very heavy on magic and stamina, to see if you can put some ranger and sorcerer levels in there. The more magicka you can get, the better off. And also, since the m magic archer you is strictly a magic-based offensive, you can easily switch over later towards endgame and play either class with success. So you're not bored or stuck playing one particular class. And the main appeal of the Mystic Knight is its great cannon effect. I'm still level 5 or 6. I'm working on the increasing the vocation to increase the potentiality and damage. And even though I'm playing as a Mystic Knight, I'm still leveling up as a Sorcerer and Ranger on certain levels to get that stamina and magic damage and defense up. There are many ways to play the Mystic Knight besides just using the Great Cannon. You can use the reposts with specific elements on the shield itself. The only problem with this particular build might be you have to carry a lot of different elementals and the armor is pretty heavy if you choose to wear heavy armor. And much of the elementals need to be carried, although you only have a few different three slots to put particular elementals, so you pretty much have to gear up for particular battles. Here I'm using the Ice Enchanter because I have a feeling that there's going to be some dire wolves or hellhounds coming up here. And they are. I'm going to pop out the magic cannon with the ice and just start nailing away. You can see the massive area effect. It never gets old. Even taking a shot. I don't know if I blocked that one or just got out of the way of that particular shot from the hounds. And there you go. We can pretty much wipe out or clear out a large area, including potentially free stunning some of these. Alright, that one might have hit me. But I'm going to turn around, finish up business, hit the cannon again. Whew, this is definitely a stamina heavy build, also, if you're going to be using any of the special sword moves which is why I've been trying to level up in the stamina also I right, here I have the fire enchant set up and although they might be more prone towards holy light we're gonna use the fire and that seems to be working just as well and I also have there's three swords that have ice fire and electric damage so you may want to look into getting any of those so you don't have to constantly be switching around elementals here why don't we take out some of the goblins i think we're going to use the other great cannon with the fire and just clear the section out you can see how well that works in taking out groups or higher level goblins all right, and you see how that flashed off when the mage walked through with the orbs? I right, want to take out some bandits in here. Generally, these give a problem because they can outnumber you or your team very quickly. But as you can see, we're taking out a whole swath of them all at once. They cannot run. <laughs> that is the one of the more fun or more important aspects of the Mystic Knight. And just for fun, why don't we take out some more of these bandits. Let's hit them with a bunch of fire before they can even hit hit some of the team. Man, it is. The Great Cannon is dependent on 60% Magicka and 40% Strength, so keep that in mind as you're leveling up. I still have a couple more levels in the vocation to work on, but we'll get there pretty soon.
We're just going to do the same thing up ahead. I think that's a Cyclops. So we'll see if we can do any damage. Just, I'm not sure that they are. They're more electric oriented, but all the bandits down here, they're prone to fire. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. Let's see. He's coming at me. See if I can catch him on fire at all. I might, I might have caught him on fire. I think I blocked him. See that he didn't hit me with his... With that club, I got a block on. I do not have the repost, shield, enchanted. If I did, it might have stunned him with some elemental, but as it was, it just stunned him and kept me from getting knocked over. And if you want help with the perfect blocks, you can level up the fighter and get the augment that increases the perfect block window in your training. That'll help you out. Other augments that are helpful are the ranger stability. Potentially, you want to get the Sorcerer, I think it's Acuity, and the one is for increased magic damage, 20%, and the other one is increased for quicker spell casting, and one is for longer enchantment time. Alright, let's watch this big boy fall. Poink. And Sinew. If you're a fighter, you can get that one. That one's helpful in carrying stuff. And also level up as a warrior to Vocation 9 so you can get the Clout Augment. That'll give you 20% strength. So you can add 20% strength and magic to your build. You can add another 10% from a couple of the other vocations, but that takes up too many slots. You want to use the ra the few six slots that you have on some of the other items. We have Did it. Basically, I think I run with faster enchantment, longer enchantment, or no, faster spells, longer enchantment, 20% greater magic, 20% greater strength, sinew, and the fifth one you can switch in and out, or the sixth one you can switch in and out with your preference, either using stability, maybe you want more offense, maybe you can need some defense, or you can use for that particular one, I use the fighter one to increase the time or the frames for the perfect block from one frame to six frames, because you get plus five. And that is for during training, eventually, I should get a little better at knowing when the perfect block will happen. We can switch that particular augment out. There you go, we're going to clear out another whole section. Alright, I'm going to level this guy up. We're going to work on heading towards the bosses. Unlocking all the skills in the vocation. And maybe working on getting some more stamina. See it always getting tired out. be pretty close to leveling up another vocation so we'll just finish it out at with that Alright, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Want you guys to have a great day. Be safe out there. We'll see you in the next video. Do some more Dragon's Dogma. Have a great day. Bye-bye.